Research suggests that mechanical ventilators can reduce the variability of breath timings and as a result, capnography readings. They can also increase the likelihood of effective ventilation. To quote from Gregory and Mersel, a high flow rate over a short inflation time inevitably produces a high peak airway pressure in an unprotected airway. High peak airway pressure overcomes the pressure of the lower oesophageal sphincter and causes gastric inflation. Use of a mechanical ventilation may help to overcome the high pressures involved. In an intubated patient or a patient with an LMA in situ, use of a mechanical ventilator has been shown to allow paramedics to accomplish extra tasks, document better and provide pe better patient care. This is a time-cycled volume preset flow generator. In other words, the pressure can vary, the volume is always the same, and the air must be delivered within a preset time, which helps to control the tidal volume. There are many different types. One of the most common ones in UK ambulances at this time is the Pneumopack Parapack, but the Parapack Plus may soon replace it. Here are the useful parts. The supply gas failure alarm, the inlet connection, the relief pressure control, the main pneumatic switch, air mix control, inflation pressure monitor, frequency control, and the tidal volume control. To remove the ventilator from the racks, pull the flap to the side and push the ventilator up. To put it back in, simply push it down and pull the flap to the side again. To connect to the gas supply, push the hose into the socket and twist. It's the same when connecting to the portable oxygen cylinder. And here's a close up again, push and push and twist. When you turn it on, the ventilator should complete a self check. The alarm lights should flash in sequence. There should be one burst of the high pressure audible alarm and the orange indicator should flash for 60 seconds. Next, check the indicator is white, which means there's O2. Connect the patient circuit. This is just a close-up of where the patient circuit connects to. Next on the list, adjust the ventilation parameters. Set the air mix control to no air mix for respiratory arrest or CPR. Set the relief pressure control to 40. Set the respiratory rate to 12. As for the tidal volume, it varies massively as you can see on the screen. It depends on whether you opt for an average value or base it on the patient's weight. Smith's Medical advise 800 to 900 millilitres on their training video, but don't worry too much about the slight differences in tidal volume because the new pack features a high pressure alarm that we'll discuss shortly. The alarm will help you identify if the tidal volume is too high for your patient. Next, temporarily occlude the patient connection. The relief pressure Difficult monitor set. should go to the max setting, i.e. 40 centimetres of H2O. Top left is the high pressure alarm. Top right is low pressure. Bottom left is battery indicator. The middle one tells you when breathing is detected by the ventilator. High pressure means excessive tidal volume, incorrect airway position, kinked ET tube, 
or incorrect ventilation settings. If the pressure is re reaching its max, there may be something wrong with the circuit. And if you've checked the above and the alarm is still sounding, Smith's medical advice that your tidal volume setting might just be too high. Low pressure means leakage or insufficient tidal volume or settings, or a faulty valve in the patient's circuit. This alarm tends to occur when pressure drops below 10 centimetres of H2O. Earlier, I pointed out the alarm in the middle at the bottom. This is SMMV. It's an indicator that will flash green if the patient is breathing for themselves. The ventilator will assist if the patient breathes with less than 150 millilitres of tidal volume. Between 150 to 400, the ventilator will extend the exhalation time to allow the patient to complete their own breath and above 400, the ventilator will allow the patient to breathe and will not assist, but may still assist on the next breath if required.